An assault rifle is a fully automatic selective fire rifle that uses an intermediate cartridge and a detachable magazine. Assault rifles were first used during World War II, though Western nations were slow to accept the assault rifle concept after World War II. By the end of the 20th century they had become the standard weapon in most of the world's armies, replacing battle rifles and submachine guns. Examples include the STG-44, AK-47 and the M-16 rifle. The Germans were the first to pioneer the assault rifle concept during World War II, based upon research that showed that most firefights happen within 400 meters and that contemporary rifles were overpowered for most small arms. Combat they sought to develop a select fire intermediate powered rifle combining the firepower of a submachine gun with the accuracy and range of a rifle. This was done by shortening the standard 7.92 times 57 mm cartridge to 7.92 times 33 mm and giving it a lighter 125 grain bullet. That limited range but allowed for more controllable automatic fire. A smaller, lighter cartridge also allowed soldiers to carry more ammunition to support the higher consumption rate of automatic fire. The result was the Sturmgewehr 44, which the Germans produced in large numbers. Approximately half a million were made. Unlike previous rifle designs it introduced an over-the-barrel gas system, straight stock and pistol grip to reduce recoil and improve handling characteristics. The principle of this weapon, DOT was probably the most important advance in small arms since the invention of smokeless powder. Definition The term assault rifle is generally attributed to Adolf Hitler, who for propaganda purposes used the German word Sturmgewehr as the new name for the MP43, subsequently known as the Sturmgewehr 44 or STG 44. Other sources dispute that Hitler had much to do with coining the new name besides signing the production order. The STG-44 is generally considered the first selective fire military rifle to popularize the assault rifle concept. Today, the term assault rifle is used to define firearms sharing the same basic characteristics as the STG-44. In a strict definition, a firearm must have at least the following characteristics to be considered an assault rifle. It must be an individual weapon. It must be capable of selective fire. It must have an intermediate power cartridge. More power than a pistol but less than a standard rifle or battle rifle. Its ammunition must be supplied from a detachable box magazine. And it should have an effective range of at least 300 meters. Rifles that meet most of these criteria, but not all, are technically not assault rifles despite frequently being called such. For example, select fire M2 carbines are not assault rifles, their effective range is only 200 yards. Select fire rifles such as the FN FAL battle rifle are not assault rifles, they fire full-powered rifle cartridges. Semi-automatic only rifles like variants of the Colt R15 are not assault rifles, they do not have select fire capabilities. Semi-auto rifles with fixed magazines like the SKS are not assault rifles, they do not have detachable box magazines and are not capable of automatic fire. The U.S. Army defines assault rifles as short, compact, selective fire weapons that fire a cartridge intermediate in power between submachine gun and rifle cartridges. History the Germans were the first to pioneer the assault rifle concept during World War II, based upon research that showed that most firefights happen within 400 meters and that contemporary rifles were overpowered for most small arms. Combat the Germans sought to develop a select fire intermediate powered rifle combining the firepower of a submachine gun with the accuracy and range of a rifle. This was done by shortening the standard 7.92 times 57 mm cartridge to 7.92 times 33 mm and giving it a lighter 125 grain bullet. 
that limited range but allowed for more controllable automatic fire. The result was the Sturm Gewehr 44. Like the Germans, the Soviets were influenced by experience showing most combat happens within 400 meters and that their soldiers were consistently outgunned by heavily armed German troops especially those armed with the Sturm Gewehr 44 assault rifles. The Soviets were so impressed with the Sturm Gewehr 44 that after World War II, they held a design competition to develop an assault rifle of their own. The winner was the AK-47 assault rifle. It was finalized, adopted and entered widespread service in the Soviet Army in the early 1950s. Its firepower, ease of use, low production costs, and reliability was perfectly suited for the Red Army's new mobile warfare doctrines. The AK-47 was widely supplied or sold to nations allied with the USSR and the blueprints were shared with several friendly nations. The U.S. Army was influenced by combat experience with semi-automatic weapons such as the M1 Garin and M1 Carbine, which enjoyed a significant advantage over enemies armed primarily with bolt-action rifles. Although U.S. Army studies of World War II combat accounts had very similar results to that of the Germans and Soviets, the U.S. Army maintained its traditional views and preference for high-powered semi-automatic rifles. After World War II, the United States military started looking for a single automatic rifle to replace the M1 Garand, M1, M2 carbines. M1918 Browning automatic rifle, M3, grease guns, and Thompson submachine gun. However, early experiments with select fire versions of the M1 Garand proved disappointing. During the Korean War, the select fire M2 carbine largely replaced submachine guns in U.S. service. Although, combat experience suggested that the 30 carbine round was underpowered, American weapons designers reached the same conclusion as the Germans and Soviets. An intermediate round was necessary, and recommended a small caliber, high velocity cartridge. However, senior American commanders having faced fanatical enemies and experienced major logistical problems during World War II and the Korean War, insisted that a single powerful, 30 caliber cartridge be developed that could not only be used by the new automatic rifle, but by the new general purpose machine gun in concurrent development. This culminated in the development of the 7.62x51mm NATO cartridge and the M14 battle rifle which was basically an improved select fire M1 Garand, with a 20-round magazine. The U.S. also adopted the M60 GPMG. Its NATO partners adopted the FN FAL and HKG-3 battle rifles, as well as the FN MAG and Rhine Metal MG3 GPMGs. The first confrontations between the AK-47 and the M14 came in the early part of the Vietnam War. Battlefield reports indicated that the M14 was uncontrollable in full auto and that soldiers could not carry enough ammo to maintain fire superiority. Over the AK-47, a replacement was needed. A medium between the traditional preference for high-powered rifles such as the M14 and the lightweight firepower of the M2 carbine. As a result, the Army was forced to reconsider a 1957 request by General Willard G. Wyman, commander of the U.S. Continental Army Command to develop a 223-caliber select fire rifle weighing 6 pounds when loaded with a 20-round magazine. The 5.56mm round had to penetrate a standard U.S. helmet at 500 yards and retain a velocity in excess of the speed of sound, while matching or exceeding the wounding ability of the 30 carbine cartridge. This request ultimately resulted in the development of a scaled-down version of the Armite R-10, called R-15 rifle. However, despite overwhelming evidence that the R-15 could bring more firepower to bear than the M-14, 
The army opposed the adoption of the new rifle. In January 1963, Secretary of Defense Robert McNamara concluded that the R-15 was the superior weapon system and ordered a haul to M-14 production. At the time, the R-15 was the only rifle available that could fulfill the requirement of a universal infantry weapon for issue to all services. After modifications, the new redesigned assault rifle was subsequently adopted as the M16 rifle. During the 1960s other countries would follow the Americans' lead and begin to develop 5.56x45mm assault rifles, most notably Germany with the Heckler and Koch HK-33. The HK-33 was essentially a smaller 5.56mm version of the 7.62x51mm Heckler and Koch G3 rifle. As one of the first 5.56mm assault rifles on the market, it would go on to become one of the most widely distributed assault rifles. The HK-33 featured a modular design with a wide range of accessories that could be easily removed and arranged in a variety of configurations. In March 1970, the U.S. recommended that all NATO forces adopt the 5.56x45mm cartridge. This shift represented a change in the philosophy of the military's long-held position about caliber size. By the middle of the 1970s, other armies were looking at assault rifle-type weapons. A NATO standardization effort soon started and tests of various rounds were carried out starting in 1977. The U.S. offered the 5.56x45mm M193 round, but there were concerns about its penetration in the face of the wider introduction of body armor. In the end the Belgian 5.56x45mm SS109 round was chosen in October 1980. The SS-109 round was based on the U.S. cartridge but included a new stronger, heavier, 62-grain bullet design, with better long-range performance and improved penetration. During the 1970s, the USSR developed the AK-74 assault rifle and the 5.45x39mm cartridge which has similar physical characteristics to the US. 5.56x45mm cartridge. Also during the 1970s, Finland, Israel, South Africa and Sweden introduced AK-type assault rifles in 5.56x45mm. During the 1990s, the Russians developed the AK-101 in 5.56x45mm NATO for the world export market. In addition, Bulgaria, Czechoslovakia, Hungary, Poland and Yugoslavia have also rechambered their locally produced AK variants to 5.56mm NATO. The adoption of these cartridges cemented the worldwide trend towards small caliber, high velocity cartridges. In 1977, Austria introduced the 5.56x45mm Steer August bullpup rifle, often cited as the first successful bullpup rifle, finding service with the armed forces of over 20 countries. It was highly advanced for the 1970s, combining in the same weapon the bullpup configuration, a polymer housing, dual vertical grips an optical sight as standard, and a module of design. Highly reliable, light, and accurate, the Steer August showed clearly the potential of the bullpup layout. In 1978, France introduced the 5.56x45mm FAMAS bullpup rifle. In 1985, the British introduced the 5.56x45mm L85 bullpup rifle. In the late 1990s, Israel introduced the Tevort R21 and China's People's Liberation Armies adopted QBZ95. By the turn of the century, the bullpup assault rifle design had achieved worldwide acceptance. Assault Rifle Gallery The German STG-44, the first assault rifle manufactured in significant numbers, 
a Russian AK-47 with machined receiver, American 5.56 x 45mm M16A1, German HK-33A2 with a Trijicon ACOG optical sight, Russian 5.45 x 39mm AK-74 assault rifle, American 5.56 45mm M4A1 assault rifle, German 5.56 x 45mm G36 assault rifle. The Austrian Stier August was one of the first bullpup assault rifles to enter widespread use. French Famas G2 with bayonet. British Saar 80 assault rifle in 1996. The Israeli Tavortar 21 with holographic weapon sight. China's People's Liberation Army's QBZ-95, Assault Rifles vs. Assault Weapons. The term assault rifle, when used in its proper context, militarily or by its specific functionality, has a generally accepted definition with the firearm manufacturing community. In more casual usage, the term assault weapon is sometimes conflated or confused with the term assault rifle. In the United States, assault weapons are usually defined in legislation as semi-automatic firearms that have certain features generally associated with military firearms, including assault rifles. The 1994 Federal Assault Weapons Ban, which expired on September 13, 2004, codified a definition of an assault weapon. It defined the rifle type of assault weapon as a semi-automatic firearm with the ability to accept a detachable magazine and two or more of the following, a folding or telescoping stock, a pistol grip that protrudes conspicuously beneath the action of the weapon, a bayonet mount, a flash suppressor or threaded barrel designed to accommodate a flash suppressor, a grenade launcher. Some states have created even more restrictive definitions of assault weapons, such as the NY SAFE Act, which changed the restriction to one or more of the above features and expanded the restrictive muzzle devices beyond just flash suppressors to include compensators and muzzle brakes. SIG. Assault weapons legislation does not further restrict weapons capable of fully automatic fire, such as assault rifles and machine guns, which have been continuously and heavily regulated since the National Firearms Act of 1934 was passed. Subsequent laws such as the Gun Control Act of 1968 and the Firearm Owners Protection Act of 1986 also affected the importation and civilian ownership of fully automatic firearms, the latter fully prohibiting sales of newly manufactured machine guns to non-law enforcement or SOT dealers.